surprise, surprise. Why don't we just make the first two always night train and Dion? <laughs> <laughs> it's a kind of a trend here. Again, he doesn't have the tip drill ability active. He also doesn't have that playmaker ability active on Ocho Cinco and Randy Moss. But Gunslinger. He definitely has <laughs> Gunslinger active. That is his bread and butter. He is known for hike throw and getting those quick passes out and nothing but no better mechanic than the gunslinger with for that type of offense let's take a look at our scattering report brought to you by xbox for spot me we have stopped the deep ball and the high point pass we know that monster likes to use that high point pass all the time and for monster even though he has the 26 um pa he's 26 in pass attempts per game he's still fifth and passing yardage per attempt, so you know he likes to get it deep downfield. What's the key for Monsta to have some success against Spot Me Please? We've talked about it already about him. No turnovers. He is a gunslinger. He has the ball out, and you know how Brett Favre was. When Brett Favre didn't throw interceptions, he won those ball games. Same boat for Monsta, and last but not least, if you're Monsta, get your revenge. Yeah. Last time we were up here calling your game, we started saying Rocky references, saying throw the towel. It's over, 35-0. Uh, you get a chance to avenge that here against Spot Me Please at the Madden Championship. Spot Me Please will start with the ball first, gets out to the 20-yard line. It's important. You know, these every possession matters, but if you can... If you're going to be the one to receive the opening kickoff, you need to go down and put a touchdown on the board. And this could be a sneak peek of a future Club Series championship of the 49ers representative Juan <laughs> Velasquez versus the Titans representative yep. Taylor Robertson. Both diehard fans of those teams repping the jerseys on the main stage. Let's get ready to rock. I tell you what, we had an absolute blast at those Club Series events and hope for more in the future. And We've already penciled in. We're in Kansas City every year. You guys cannot stop us. You cannot stop me and the coal train <laughs> from going to Kansas City Club Series. We have brisket to eat. <laughs> That's true. Second and 11. Matt at the call and brisket to eat. Got to get rid of it. and He'll throw it away. And all of a sudden, a big third down coming up for Spot Me Please. It's going to be interesting. Falls mentioned it. Spot Me went and he won the Madden Classic, and then when we saw him again at the Madden Ball, he didn't win a game, though he was in one of the toughest groups there was, and then we didn't see him at the Madden Challenge. On, I've seen a few of our champions have a little bit of a lull when they come back for the uh -oh. second time, and he has a man, and Chad Johnson will Is take ready? it all the way. And Monster shows some frustration right there. Spot me, please, as cool as a cucumber on third and 11. Slangs a lob pass downfield. Ocho gets a step on the DB, and that's vintage. Spot me, please, right there, Coltrane. Take cover, because here's a bomb. Boom. That's a huge play, and one visibly frustrated after giving that up. So, Monster will take a knee. Finds himself trailing by seven with only 48 seconds has gone by in this one. The opening game here of Group F. We have an audience. And Spot Me picking up where he leaves off, making a statement with his offense. And we said Monster averages the fifth most passing yards per attempt. Spot Me is no slouch either. He's number seven in passing yards per attempt. So both of these guys known for getting big chunks of yardage through the air at a time. And there's Reggie Bush, a man that we don't see a lot of here at the salary cap level. But for Monster, you're going to see him use number 22 a lot at wide out. And just as I say it, let's get five wide with it, RG. Got to be careful in this five wide, Scott. A lot of times these edge blitzers will come free off of that empty backfield set. Decides to make the adjustment, goes back to the run, and picks up two. Spot me running some spinner. That's a man-to-man, all-out blitz type of defense that he had a lot of success with at the Madden Classic. Don't see a lot of players running that defense. Quick throw, and that's what we're talking about. The fearlessness of Monster to just rip one into coverage at Reggie Bush. And doing it all. And that's a good utilization of personnel, Coltrane. Reggie Bush, the 95 overall half pick, halfback, has some of the best receiving stats in the game. Uh -huh. So you could use him however you like, whether it be on the ground or through the air. One, using him through the air right there. 
And I'm starting to get deja vu of the 49ers Club Series as he hands it off to Darius Jackson. That's going to be one of his main guys. He'll one of Hands it to Bush. Bush just needs a break and tackle. Broken ankle, but couldn't get past the seven yard line. And we'll see a lot of Darius Jackson on a lot of people's teams in this event, Coltrane. He is a minimum cap halfback, 15 cap, the least you can spend on a halfback, but he has an 88 trucking rating, which allows him to fall forward with 88 speed. So um, he's definitely one of the biggest value plays that we've seen in this entire salary cap tournament, and a lot of players have him on their roster. Bunch of different formations here to start the game from F&B Monster. And this time he'll stretch it outside. Let's go! And Reggie Bush. Boy, we've seen two Southern Cal running backs have success. Marcus Allen and now, well, can we call him the Heisman winner? Reggie Bush gets Re into the end zone. <laughs> Reginald Bush looking like it's USC out there. And he's not a guy that'll run you over, but look how shifty he gets here, Coltrane. Right through the hole, cuts it up field, gets in for six, gets monster some momentum back. And both of these players with their high-powered offenses respond to each other. Spot me, you're on the clock. Oh, and he oh, might take yeah. this to the house. It's the Kentucky Derby weekend, and Chad Johnson's on his horse. Oh, my goodness. Let's go, spot me, please. We're talking about how do you respond after a touchdown. You punch Monster right in the mouth and take the kickoff back for six. If you're Monster and you're trying to win games, that's not what you can do. Let's take a look at it again. Ocho Cinco. Just two guys out there. And whoop. See ya. Oh, my goodness, Coltrane. It's so frustrating. You put together this crispy, prolific drive. If you're a monster, you move downfield. You run the ball. You pass the ball. You're slanging. You get in. And then you kick it off and let up six right away. Oh, this is so frustrating if you're a monster. Love the spectator cam. Don't at me. And he takes this one all the way to the house. He's actually gaining yards. Wow. Gaining ground, some speed out of Ocho Zinco. Reggie Bush now, he'll go nowhere. For Monster, that's so rough. You just, like we talked about, you put together the long drive, and now you got to get right back to it. Wow, you need to get back to work here if you're Monster. You got to answer back to that. So 14 to 7, play action. Uh-oh, screaming. Dion. Let's go to Zach with a game break. Scott, I don't have a party going on over here, but what I got is a live look in at Duke against I'm Wild. I'm Wild's in the Saints uniforms. Nothing, nothing early. They're going to take a timeout. I'm going to kick it back to you, but if anything happens on this third and 17, I got you. I'll be honest. That's These were tough games to pick who was going to be the featured matchup. I'm Wild and Duke is an absolute classic as well. Well, anytime you get a chance to watch I'm Wild, this guy's almost pretty much must see TV. Some of the most charisma we have in all of the Madden community, a defensive specialist, and Duke, a true veteran of the game that embodies consistency. That might be the final play of the quarter as Monster has already worked himself down to the 21-yard line. He answered the door the first time. Can he answer the call again? Well, he's moving. He's definitely moving, which is a good sign for Monster because a lot of people after giving up a kick return like that just get frustrated right away and get themselves out of their offensive rhythm. But we haven't seen that so far on this drive from Monster. He's right in spot me territory, ready to make a statement. So second and 13 now from the 24-yard line. After the loss of three, Taylor Robertson, West Virginia, Ballard, West Virginia, 26 years old, has an accountant degree, wife and son at home watching, Madden Classic champion, and remember at the Madden Championship last year, he made it all the way to the final eight, where he eventually fell to problem. Both of these guys said if they won the 100,000, the families was their number one answer. Uh, where that money would go. Very respectable. Third and five. Surprising running play here. Out of the gunslinger. Monster. Maybe trying to catch Spot Me a little bit off guard, but Spot Me with the DB Fire 2 press in there. What that run on third down tells me is Monster might was thinking about going for it on fourth down, but no, he's going to kick the field goal. 
That was an interesting call. I, I would have liked to see him get a little bit more aggressive there, Coltrane. Now, if you're monster, you better be careful on this <laughs> kickoff right here. You, you let up back-to-back -back kick returns against a player of the caliber of spot me, please. Might as well just pack your bags and move on to the next game. Well, Skimbo got on a streak where he started returning kickoffs in our last event. And Dale is going to get to the outside. Got to be listening to Drake because he just went back to back. Kickoff returns. Oh my goodness. If this was Vegas, I would throw the house on Spot Me Please right now. That is something you cannot do and win football games, Coltrane. Giving up special teams touchdowns, multiples of them. It is just completely out of line. And look at this stick work by Spot Me Please following his holes. And that's one of the advantages of having primetime Deion Sanders. He can play some defense, but he'll also play some special teams for you. Wow. Well, back-to-back -back kick returns. Take a look at it again. The former Florida State Seminole, prime time, Dion takes it to the crib. Taking a page out of Skimbo's playbook. He didn't call it, though, like no, Skimbo did. he did. But at some point, Beast Mode Mac decided that he was going to start squibbing kickoffs because Skimbo was so good at returning kicks in that last tournament. And it'll be interesting to see if you're monster. That's a real adjustment you may have to make here. This is getting completely out of line. We've got about, Spot Me's run about what, four offensive three. plays? Yeah, three, three plays, offensive yeah. plays, and he has 21 points already <laughs> on the board. It's completely out of line if you're monster. You special teams needs to show up. That's just in from our producer. Read. That's good. That's a good thing. So big time That's deficit here, down by 11, still plenty of time. Couldn't get his feet in bounds on first down. And it's going to be a second and 10 from the 47. And if you're the rest of the field, one of these players that you don't want to see get hot. And it's that's picked off. T.J. Green from Clemson. Sorry, Scott. I know. You're not, you're not paying attention. It's all good. No, no, I'm the paying bomb. attention. I had to think about it for a second. I'm not as guru as you when it comes to, you know, he went to this college. He played for this team. I mean, you're a maestro when it comes to that. My job's to fill space, and that's what I do, both physically and literally. The, the problem here for the rest of the field is spot me, please. Once this kid starts rolling and getting some momentum, he's shown that he could be one of the hardest players in the country to stop on offense. Well, last time they met, it was 35 to nothing, 21 to 10 right now, and spot me with the ball. And he's rolling. If he could put together a scoring drive right here, two touchdowns on offense, two touchdowns on special teams, man, does he look good so far. Two-minute warning. West Virginia versus California. And Monster... He's going to need a little help here, trailing by 11. Needs a stop, second and three. Goes to Ricky Williams, who fumbles, and that's just what the doctor ordered. And I like that emotion we're seeing right there from Monster Coltrane. The little counts as a fumble, screams, let's go. And what that tells me is he's not giving up in this game. Though he's led up to two kick return touchdowns, he's here to fight, and he truly wants that revenge. And that's Reggie a good sign early. Get to the outside and Bush will make it a four-point game if less he goes for two. And that's how you win football games, Coltrane. You get some adversity thrown right in your face and you answer right back to it. Stay emo stay passionate, stay emotional, and that's exactly what Velasquez is doing right now. Gets what the fumble and then a 39-yard touchdown run from Reggie Bush. And just like called it, there's the Squibberino. Check you out. <laughs> At some point, you just got to do it. It's been a wild one here in the first half of game number one for Group F. Spot me, please, and Monsta trying to cook up an instant classic. Yeah, what a way to kick off the group, huh? Boys came to play. I'm very impressed by Monsta. Forces the fumble. Gets, it, gets the amazing run, and now is only down four after giving up the two special teams touchdowns. That is very admirable. If he could force a turnover right here, the momentum he would have would be insane. 
So 90 seconds to go in the half. Spot me. He's actually going to run his offense. Oh, and there is Johnson. Go, he gets up back let's on go. his feet. Wow. Uh, spot me, please. Doing it all. If you ever spot me, please, if you ever spot him any points, you're just a blatant fool. Because this dude's offense is so prolific. And look at him. He's under center, Coltrane. And people are usually ready for that post route right there from Ocho Cinco, but not out of that formation. They're used to seeing it out of gun punch. Different for shotgun formation. Spot me, please, under center, mixing up his formations very well and catching his opponents off guard. It's something he told us he was going to do, and we saw it pay off right there on that play. Third touchdown for Ocho Cinco this half. Two receiving, one kick return. And can I throw some shade? The user tackling by Monsta has been a bit of a struggle, though, to start this game. That is strong analysis right there, Coltrane, because we have seen him diving all over the place on multiple big plays by Spot Me Please. So second and two. Coming up on 62 ticks left in the half. Trailing by 11. Boy, do you need a score here. Uh, if you can respond if you're a monster. And it's picked up by Lonnie Ballantyne. And now spot me, please, has a chance to go for the juggler. And look at the X route on the left of your screen is wide open. Instead throws a risky pass to Reggie Bush on the street with a low throw. Not a great read right there by Monster. And look at Spot Me still under center here. And finds Chad Johnson at the 25 yard line. So he's in field goal range. And he runs the Z spot from the single back bunch. Again, people used to seeing that gun bunch, not that single back look, Coltrane. He's got Jordan Reed and Antonio Gates. But this time he goes to Moss, and Moss was looking for the sideline. Couldn't get there, so he'll burn his first time out. I am in love with what we're seeing right now from Spot Me Please. He is mixing up his formation so prolifically, and at this point in the year, wow. And Ricky, run, Ricky, run! And it's another touchdown for Spot Me. And he's feeling it. He's scored every time he's touched the ball. And he's keeping his opponents off balance. What I was trying to say, Coltrane, is he is mixing up his formation so well. And at this time of the year, everybody's got defense for gun punch. Untouched. Or for gun snugs. They're not ready for this single back stuff when someone could be efficient out of it. This was great preparation from Spot Me Please to switch up the meta a little bit and throw something at his opponents that they might not be prepared for. Great world-class preparation right there from Taylor Robertson, a.k.a. Spot Me Please. Well, he scored 35 last time he faced Monsta. It was 35 to nothing. He's already scored 35 points here in the first half. Favre gets rid of it. Missed tackle. And now Williams. Try to cut it back up inside. He'll burn a timeout of the 46 with 14 seconds to go in the half. That's a touchdown save and tackle right there by Spot Me Please. I'm not sure why he didn't take it to the outside. He was trying to make a man miss. I get it. But you might have cost yourself field goal range. He tried to swerve him with the left stick instead of execute a ball carrier move. Favre, empty backfield. There's a big hit by Sean Taylor at the 33. Oh, time out. He does have Justin Tucker as his kicker, so he's well within field goal range. Yeah, but he, he let two seconds wind off the clock right there before calling the timeout. He might have had time to. I think he was in, in between. But he yeah. didn't know if he would, hey, am I going to run another play or if I'm going to kick the Fig Newton? And letting those two seconds go by almost sealed your fate. And Fig Newton's still a good call right there because the three two brings it down game. to a two possession ball game, which obviously Sorry. very important. I thought that was if he didn't give up those uh, two kick return touchdowns. The tall potential tie ball game. Yeah, he's going to be squibbing it. I can tell you that. Oh, and he can't pick it up, and all of a sudden, he's got the ball at the 39 yard line, and he has Justin Tucker. Let it fly, my man. Wow, talk about needing your special teams to finally step up and make a play. Let's Though go. that was lucky as heck. And it is He'll right take it. down Main Street, and spot me, just spotted. FMB Monster three points before the half. Yeah, I don't know who that was on the hands team, but if 
you want to get cut from my Madden salary cap squad, <laughs> that's a good way to do it. Botch a squib kick before the half. But if you spot me, you're not complaining about too much right now other than that. Let's take a look at this again as it happened right before the end. Justin Tucker with a little squib and then just could not be picked up by Jed Collins. Who? Jed Collins? That explains a lot right there, huh? Jed Collins. Sorry, real life Jed Collins, but you just cost <laughs> Spot Me Please three points. And that's why you got to have Justin Tucker because, boom, 56 yarder, a breeze for JT. Yeah, and we've seen people that don't invest in their kicker and come back to bite them many times. So that right there, good preparation by Monster. Well, let's go to Dave and the gang with our halftime. Thanks a lot, guys. Rico, what? What is going on here? We've got two kickoff returns for a touchdown. We've got a squib kick getting recovered like an onside kick. What's happening right now? This speaks volumes to how important special teams are in trying to win yourself a Madden championship. you got to be solid on offensive, defensive, and your special teams. Skimbo showed us that you can win with it. Spot me, please, is taking it to a whole other level. He's just – I'm glad he's back. I'm glad the superior offensive firepower, spot me, please, in those magnificent games where he just puts up 50 and makes it look so easy, is back in the building. i got to find out more about the special teams. We'll update you on B. Well, you guys can hear I'm Wild is getting fired up. We are going to look in live right now, Zach. Well, if you can get your voice no, over I'm Wilds right now, let's hear you. Let's hear your thoughts on what you have to say. So here. let's give you a look in at this game. This is the Battle of New Orleans here, Rico. And uh, I'm Wild. The Bayou. It was a box early in the game, 0-0, heading into the end of the first quarter. Those guys were getting field goals, touchdowns by accident. We were begging for some points. Duke broke the scoring, made it three nothing. Wild came back, went over the top on a long pass, made it 7-3. He got hyped up, and now it's a third and two. He feels like he's been all over Duke. Almost had maybe some interceptions dropped, maybe some, some passes that he should have got, or some fumbles. Some, he's had some big time hit sticks too. So on third and two at the two minute warning, let's see what's gonna happen here. Come on, man. I'm out here making plays, baby. Here is the touchdown. If you missed it, it was a fourth and nine for Am Wild. He went up top, and now he's got Duke right at midfield with a big time fourth and two at the two minute warning. Rico, these guys are hyped up. I'm wild. He's back. Well, definitely one of them is hyped up. I still haven't heard Duke say a word yet, but he speaks with his game. Look for him to try to make something happen here on this fourth and two. Otherwise, I'm wild might have this place go crazy. The roof may come off this building on fourth and two here. McNabb looking across the middle for Duke. Great corner Good route. Play. And guys, we will have more for you from this game in just I want to remind you that championship packs are available now. Each pack contains a championship player from a winning EA Majors roster. Collect these championship players to earn one of three 99 overall champions players designed by our EA Major winners. Still to come today, more from Group F. Obviously a couple of really good games going on right now. Spot Me still has to play I Am Wild. Spot Me still has to play Duke. We've got a lot left. Right now, Drea is on the field with Monsta. Thanks so much, Dave. Monster, you had the field goal to close the half, but you really struggled in the special teams facet of the game. How do you do better in the second half? Uh, I'm going to squib kick every time, and I just got to play D. I'm going to win the game. A bright spot for me was when you got the takeaway and then you got into the end zone after that. How do you get some of that mojo back offensively in the second half that you had in that p specific sequence? Uh, I just got to play my offense, just do what I do best, and I'll be all right. All right, well, best of luck in the second half. All right, thank all right you. let's send it to Scott and RG. All right, thanks so much, Drea. Well, the confidence is there. The question is, will his defense get there? He's giving up 35 points. Well, I like what he said about, hey, I'm just going to squib from here <laughs> on out. But in order to squib, you need to get points on the board. You need to yep. go out and you need to score some touchdowns. But Monster's shown that he's able to do that. So we got a great second half coming up. And then on the side, we got wild. They're, dude, they're going I'm crazy wild. over I'm there. Is wild. Oh, my god. And gosh. I love it. So we got an incredible group F. And even Monster's like, what is going on over there? Yeah, they can't I'm help it. I'm trying to play a game over here. I'm wild. <laughs> they can't help it. Well, if somebody scores, we'll promise you we'll show you yes. from that wild game. But let's get back. You're not going to miss a score. We promise you that. Our man, Zach Farley. Is always on the case. 
Hands off to Randy. Oh. Wayne Dorn Reggie more. Bush. And he gets cut down at the 28 yard line, so it'll be second and seven. It's a big deal for Mons to get in the ball to start the second half. Yeah, need, need a touchdown here. Phil Gold does nothing. And he'll go deep. Two guys down there. Give me that, and it's picked Let's off. Go. And that is the man from Clemson, TJ Green, the fastest guy in the 2016 Combine. FYI, huge interception. It is rumping in here right now, Coltrane. We got Spot Me. Please get an interception to a monster. We have Wild getting wild over there on the side stage. I love this game. <laughs> this is the atmosphere it's all about. Getting chirpy in here. Loving it. We got one game where no one's saying anything. And the other game where I'm Wild is, well, he's being I'm Wild. I, I, I think he's called Duke everything there over there besides the son of God, Scott. 35-23 is our score over here. And Spot Me's got the ball at the 47-yard line with a new set of downs. The single back. It's hell. Absolutely hell formation. We'll see what's going on on the other side. Zach, what the heck? Fourth and five. Duke goes for it. And I'm wild. Puts him in a box. Scott, it's looking <laughs> like Duke is bento. <laughs> you, you're referring to my high affection for the bento box at the hotel. It's a box. It's got meat. It's got egg rolls. It's got rice. I love bento boxes. And I can go for seconds easily. Bento box is always money. And this is Ocho Cinco, who has been absolutely phenomenal for Spot Me, please. He's six of seven. Ocho Cinco's got 167 yards receiving. And you don't even look at Spot Me. He has a package in here to get Randy Moss in at tight end. This is a three tight end set. But he's packaging Randy Moss in at one of those tight ends, so he gets Ocho Cinco on the outside, and then he has his two elite tight ends and Randy Moss on the line of scrimmage. Not a formation people are ready for. Spot Me Please is still using that baby controller. The baby controller. But yeah. This isn't baby stuff. He is yeah. very efficient with that Fisher controller. Fisher Price, my first controller, but he's got a championship and a belt to boot with that thing. Look how fast. He's just making hot routes. Like the wind out there. Kind of like when you go to McDonald's and order the Happy Meal. That, that's, it's meant for kids. It's not meant for you. <laughs> Absolutely. It's been a effective, bit, though. I'd crush that controller. <laughs> I don't think a Grizzlies like us could use that controller, huh? Third and six. He's got a 12-point lead in the ball at the 31-yard line. And I love what he does. See, now he's in an 11 personnel, but since he has Antonio Gates and Jordan Reed, it allows him to use one of those tight ends as a wide receiver. That was a great strategy by Spot Me Please to go with two elite wide receivers and two elite tight ends. Let's see if he kicks the field goal here, or he might go for it. It's a 12-point game. A field goal would make it 15, but he's going to go for it. I think he's trying to end this thing right now, RG. It's a big play for Monster. You want to get some momentum back, one. This is how you do it. Empties the backfield. No question what he's doing. And a quick throw, Let's and Ocho wow. Cinco can't hold on. Let's check with Zach Farley. What's going on, my man? He's got the scissors. He's got the box cutter. He's trying to find a way to get to some daylight. Here it is, the touchdown down the seam. He makes it 14-10 going into the second half. So Duke. Still plenty of fight left in him. Turnover on downs here, and while we were gone, a big time play by Monster, so all of a sudden he's in the control, and boy, he almost threw the big time Stevie there. Dude, he threw that ball so fast after the snap, the defender wasn't even turned around, had the ball hit him on his head. Then Reggie Bush almost comes through on the drag route, catches it off the bounce off the defender's head. Seen crazier things actually in this game, and oh. there you go. My oh my, you you throw it to the guy's hands, and then you use the hands to catch it. Not the head. Not the head. I, I don't I don't recommend that. <laughs> Keep throwing it off the fender's head right here. Come on, come on, Juan. We need to let the routes develop. 
little too early on that gunslinger pass. He's getting a lot of pressure. Bush makes a man miss, and he'll pick good up the first work. down at the 23-yard line. That was good stick work right there by Juan Scott. He's thrown three picks, and he's given up two kick returns, and he's only down 12. It's a good sign if you're Juan. It's definitely a good sign that you're still in this ball game, but you have made it extremely difficult for yourself to go and get this W. So a big time hit on first down, a gain of zero. And this third quarter has flown by after we've had absolute fireworks in the first half. Third quarter has turned into a defensive struggle. Play action. Throw to the end zone. Let's go! And Reggie Bush climbs Monster back in this one. That's a big That's touchdown bad. because he was in four down territory right there, Coltrane. A field goal wouldn't have we been enough because it would have still time. been two possessions. Instead, back. Juan finds the crispy dot over there <laughs> on the right. Possession catches it, throws it into space, and now Spot Me Please has to be feeling the pressure because Juan is fighting on the comeback. So now a five-point game in this one. 65 points has been racked up in just three quarters of play. And Ocho gets knocked down at the 27-yard line. And Madden has always been a game of momentum, Scott. And that's something that we see is changing thus far in this game. It was all spot me please early, but Juan just doing a great job of keeping his composure and keeping on the fight. Just like Sirius Mo, he has not given up, and it is really paying off for him so far because he is right back in this ball game. A stop right here would put all kinds of pressure on Spot Me. Can't turn the ball over here if you're Spot Me. You need at least a field goal to put the pressure on. And there's a block shed and a big time sack as Averill comes in. I'll just call him Cliff. Cliff makes a big play right there. Look at that block shed. Goes right behind, right through that tanked offensive lineman. Little spin move. And now you got Spotby in a second and 20. Not where you want to be. This is a big down. He needs to get a chunk of this back here. On his own 17 2 Coltrane. So throw your fours up. We're headed to the fourth quarter here in the group F. Game one. Second and 20 for the Madden Classic champ from West Virginia. Empties out the backfield again. Watch Moss sneak out on this delay route over here. Good job with the user. Still throws oh, it up, has a man, and it's Ricky Williams. And that is a dippity dot. That's a dot. Yeah, it's a dot. Yeah, Spot's calling it for it to be a dotted for sure is a dot. Look at that wheel route. Look at that touch pass under pressure. Rat catch. The problem was he couldn't make the defender miss in the open field. If you want, you got to hold him to three right here and keep it one possession. Loses a yard and pushes him back to the 26. It's a 43 yard field goal from there. Spot me with Jason Myers, only a 75 overall overall kicker. Who? <laughs> exactly, Who? exactly. Well, we've seen him a few times, the kicker from the Jacksonville Jaguars. I'm uh -oh. used to Josh Scobie. Oh my gosh. Let's go over to Zach with a game break. I'm wild on fourth and one, gets the run commit from Duke, pops it over the top, a five play, 60 plus yard drive. He's swagging up 21-10. So Duke got back in it, and then I'm wild answered. You got to watch out for that, I'm, I'm, I'm wild. <laughs> He'll always lead you on, too, like he's not as good as he really is. He uh, made it last year. He made it to the Final Four he was, of the yeah, championship. It's nothing serious. I got a little something out of it. And then he shows up, and he balls out. Third and 11, Let's and go. wow. That would have changed the game. Went wow. right through the hands of Deion Jordan. That was definitely a lurky McLurkison right there, but unfortunately for Juan, the defender not able to hold on to the ball. That is a drop interception, and you know why? It's because he's usually controlling a defensive oh tackle. My Had that been a linebacker, that's definitely an interception, Coltrane, but My DT's. nephew does the same thing, but he's four. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he still beats me. I don't want to talk about that part, though. You don't lose to your first stop. No, I stop. don't. I don't. I don't. Oh. Eight point game, 413 to go. Still a one possession game, as you mentioned, partner. 
And he's going to throw it deep. And this is oh, what FMB Monster does. Hey, there's four guys down there, bro. Hey, we told him not to turn the ball over in the keys to the game. And he has just continued to chuck into those situations. And Spot Me has been able to force turnovers off of that tip. So next game up on the docket is Spot Eddie. Me Please and I'm Wild. Woo! And Monster will play Duke. Oh, man, that Spot Me Wild game is going to be fantastic. Huh? I can't wait to sit back and watch that one. If there's ever been a poster boy oh, matchup for an offensive specialist versus a defensive specialist, it's that one. Block shed there from Michael Johnson. Just a 74 overall player. But that time, able to get in there and make it second and 20. And you got to wonder now when the next turnover might happen. And you got, if you spot me, you got to watch this seam route by Moss. R. Johnson. And it's uh -oh. a fumble. It. And it's oh, picked up by Sean Taylor. And now, you got to be feeling pretty good if you're spot me, you get one back. And Juan's saying you're trying to cheat me, but here's the thing. You're throwing these quick pop routes that are thrown right at a defender. You're running your receiver into traffic in those situations, and they're going to get hit. So if you're Juan, you got to be wary of that. Though it's unfortunate that he fumbled, you're not putting him in the best situation not to get his block knocked off. Well, we saw them work that work for Los. And now it's... Working for spot me here. He's only scored three points here in the second half and he'll just throw that one away Shedden. Little white gloves moment. You got to be careful here. Yeah, absolutely You need to get into field goal range. Look at spot me 8 for 12 249 with three touchdowns That's vintage spot me please right there, but he is outside of field goal range here still Scott He needs a couple more yards to go in order to get himself three so he can make this Two possessions and he I don't think he has it Especially with Jason Myers, 75 overall base gold kicker from the Jacksonville Jaguars. Well, he went for it before, and I think he's about to go for it again. I think he's thinking more about that 302 on the clock. This is it, Coltrane. This big play right here for Monster. He'll, he's going to oh, stand up. Overload it to the left, and he'll go quickly to an audible. Punch to the right here on fourth and five. Quick throw, Ricky's gonna That's have the broad tackle, That's and he can't. Huge time tackle there for Marquise Flowers. Look at this replay, Coltrane. Monster will not go within the night. He will not go without a fight. Clicks on, conservative tackle, no first down, down one possession. He's battling. And he, he held on battling. there with the Williams. I'll tell you, 53 in the 49ers uniform. That looked like Navarro Bowman making a huge play, but it was a 62 overall bronze flowers. And now Favre's got to go to work. Everything's covered. And he'll throw it away. Ball right at midfield, second and 10. Red drive. Lots of those three interceptions are killing them with the two kick return touchdowns, but still only down eight points. I wish I could make that many mistakes when I played Madden and only be down eight points. Coltrane, and he's on his horse for a minute. Darius Jackson will take it down to the 35. He's in field goal range, but ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah, no, he is down eight points. He needs a touchdown and a two-point conversion. Oh, oh, no! Huge Bro. sack. He loses 13 yards. And I want to throw up. Just hopping around. He continues to just take, look at that swim move right there. Steps back with far mistake right there by Monster. But he's continuing to convert in these situations. Second and 23. Play action. Here comes the heat. And there's that pop pass. High pointing it down to the 27. And just like that, he goes second and 23 to third and two. And here's the tempo. And that pop pass is going to be coming. He's in a hurry. That's his bread and butter, we said. Oh. Defending that high pass was going to be a key to the game for Spot Me. Well, he's going to have to key in right here on it. Yeah, nice job after the big sack. Basically runs a levels play there to the 15. 90 seconds. It's just game one. Having a good time. So if change of formation right here. A strong eye. Strong eye twin. Fourth game of the day. First game here in group F. Tough group. Spot me, Monster Duke, and I'm wild. 
flip a coin, you might as well. Here you go, Scott. You got to watch out for these pop passes from Moss and Ocho. That's where he's been making a living. Play action. Throws it. Oh. And a good job, TJ Green, on the coverage. And that's a good call, partner. He goes right to it. This is his bread and butter, and Spot Me Please knows that. I mean, he's someone that's going to watch the tape. The question is, can he defend it? Just because you know what's coming in Madden football doesn't mean you can always defend it. Interested to see right here what type of adjustment Spot Me has. Play action. Oh, Almost throws an INT. Man. Right wow. in the belly of Telvin Smith. Wow. This is a good adjustment right here by Spot Me. You see those safeties super close into the box. It's his user. He throws it right to his user. Problem is he's controlling the lineman right there who doesn't have a high catch rating. Are you kidding me? It's Telvin Smith? Was that Telvin? It's Telvin. Jeez, that's just stroking 96. right there. 96. He's just getting stroked then. And a quick Let's pass for Andy Moss. Boy, and how big was that dropped interception? Wow, all of a sudden that is a huge deal for Spot Me, please, because one, on the two yard line, you gotta assume he's gonna get in right here and spot me not gonna have a lot of time to get it done on offense. It's probably gonna come down to this two point conversion play for spot me unless he can hold the door right here on the three yard line. Eight point game, needs a touchdown in the two point conversion. First and goal from the three. Goes to Reggie Bush, makes a cut and a hit. big hit from Sean Taylor. And that's spot me's last time out right there Coltrane. So if he stops one right here and the clock keeps on moving, we'll only have about 30 seconds to get something done on offense, assuming that Juan ties this ball game up, but we're a little bit away from that. Goal line formation. Just, that was Brett Telvin Farr. Smith that dropped it. Telvin Smith had it in his bread basket. Right in his mittens. And he goes to Bush and Bush will walk in. And so that's step one. Here comes step two. You need the two-point conversion. This is it, Coltrane, and you know he has a play in mind. I actually saw Juan practicing a two-point play during warm-ups. He likes to throw a slant route to Moss right here on this outside. You see Moss isolated on the far left. There it is. And that's where he goes! Oh, no, my God. no! Where are they kidding me? No good! was the play he was practicing, but he was not able to execute it. Look at Moss. And you can see that one, one foot, and, then, oh, and that was it. They didn't cheat you, Juan. He just didn't execute. Thank you, Randy. And Randy Moss. Thank you, Randy. It's not over. It's a thank you card from Spot Me, Please. This is big, though. Just said thank you. Thank you, Randy. Yeah, he did his job. Maybe a Starbucks gift card in there just to... Well, big, Make it sweeter. Big difference when you got Moss recovering the onside other than uh, <laughs> who, was, who was our boy that dropped the squib kick? I've already, I've already forgot his name. I've let Jed Collins go. But if you want to rub salt in the wounds on Jed Collins, go right ahead. Let's take a look once again, one more time at the two-point conversion. And this is a great view of it. One foot down and then the elbow, out of bounds. And I like how Juan went to his money play. That was what he was blatantly practicing for this situation. He felt comfortable with it. He went to it. Unfortunately, just an inch off on the execution. Couldn't get both feet down. Uh-oh, for the game. Williams. This is it, Coltrane. Will need one yard to put this thing on ice. If you want, I assume you run commit right here. That means you hold the left trigger and oh flick down the right stick, and your oh whole boy. defense sells out for the run. And no, he, he will just allow him. He didn't do it. To pick up the first down, and all importantly, well, I don't want to call it too soon. I'm not CNN, but I think he's got the W. Oh, he's got the W. I'm calling it. It's over. We're in the, vic we're in the victory formation right here. He's going to spot me. Take a knee. And we'll see if Monster decides to use his timeout here. He does have one remaining. But let's be honest here. Spot me. Only scored three points in the second half, RG. He had 35 in the first. Yeah. That's wait, it. That's you, all she wrote. You have to tip your hat off to Monster right there. He had a lot of things not go his way. A lot of crucial mistakes in that game.
and he was able to fight through that adversity and make it a ball game despite losing. That's the type of swagger you want to have in this tournament, the never-say-die attitude, and we saw that from one, but you got to pay homage right there in the spot me, please. Well, I go back and watch this game later on tonight. I'm telling you, absolute classic. Zach, what's going on in the other game? Scott, we had a nice-looking game.